Everyone get out! Greetings programs and time for something completely different. It's World of Warcraft. Yeah, oh my god, I'm actually playing this. Um, a bit of background, I have basically never played World of Warcraft before, up until very, very recently, like 10 days ago. And what happened is, uh, Raylin, who uh, you, you may recognize that name, actually said that he would uh, basically donate enough money for me to go and buy, um, let's say, World of Warcraft, Miss of Pandaria, and pre-purchase whatever the upcoming one is called, which has given me a month's worth of basically game time along with all that, and a level 90 character. And I've played a couple of hours of that so far. Um, don't really know what I'm doing in the high levels, so I've also created... Uh, this guy is a, a, a level one character called Hey MX. Yep, yep. And um, my other character, by the way, is called KV4 because reasons, you know, because. Uh, but I'm I'm a dwarven ranger hunter, something like that. And this is basically going to be me. I'm going to play it for a little while and maybe. It's not really going to be a review, but I'm going to give my thoughts on World of Warcraft. And, um, I don't know, Raylan may, might be a bit disappointed by what I'm going to say. Uh, obviously, you know, very, very generous of him to actually give me the money to be able to do all this, because it's, it's not a genre I've got terrific amounts of interest in. I've got a tiny bit of experience. I've played a bit of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. And uh, the online one, is it the, uh, I can't even remember if that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? The Old Republic. I've also played a little bit of, um, oh, what's it called? Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter Nights. So, it's not like I'm a total virgin at this, but I'm really, it's not like I've got lots of experience. That said, I have at least figured out the most important command in the game, so, there we go. Yep. Because he's Russian, apparently. All dwarves are Russian. Well, I have got a bear, so that is somehow appropriate. Hopefully my armour is Russian, although I'm not really wearing armour at the moment. I'm just wearing the clothes that, um, that I'm wearing. The graphics are... Uh, how to put this? I know World of Warcraft is a bit long in tooth these days. I know it's obviously still incredibly popular, but the graphics are... Uh, showing their age a bit, shall we say. I don't even have the whole of the, the client data actually downloaded yet. I'm up to the stage where it says optimal. And one of the nice features of WoW is that you can basically start playing. Uh, you don't have to have, have downloaded that much data and you can actually boot up the game once it's got the core data and it will download things like you know, intro movies and map textures and levels and characters and stuff as it goes along. And the first couple of times I actually played, there were some uh, delays, shall we say, while I was basically stuck in loading screens waiting for things to download for a particular level. Now, I started off as a dwarf and it's put me here. The, the very first character I created was actually a, a Draenei, uh, a male Draenei, I hasten to add. Um, Shaman, I think, and oh my word, the Exodar has to be the crappiest spaceship I've ever seen. It's no wonder it crashed. I've sort of got the hang of the basics, and I'm going to go through some of the early missions, because you level up quite quickly to begin with. But one of the major features of this game is the grind, and what other people have said... Um, in fact, I watched a very interesting Total Biscuit video recently. Don't shoot at me, that's just antisocial where um, he basically talked about it a bit and how he started out in World of Warcraft, as probably a, a few of the um, older uh, YouTubers have that have their own kind of gaming channels. Uh, I mean, I mean Yogscast is another big example where they, they really just solidly started out with World of Warcraft and eventually branched out into other things. This guy's just... It's a good thing I'm apparently impervious to his bullets, or else he's just shooting blanks, in which case he really should go and see a doctor about that. Um, but it's it's the case that... Um, uh, oh, that guy's unfriendly. Um, I was going to say something then, and I got sidetracked. I don't know. It was the case that something, something, something... I'm probably going to... Uh, 
Yeah, I, this, this is going to happen. I'm going to interrupt myself because things are going on. Then I'll just completely lose my train of thought. Oh, I don't know what I was talking about. Total Biscuit. Um, the games like this are very much built around the social element, and it's like if you know a bunch of people to go and do stuff with, then it's going to be vastly more interesting than if you don't. And I really only do know two people. I mean, there's Raylin, and then there's Jingles. I have actually met Jingles in person, so to speak. Uh, I've also met some of his uh, uh, Jingles' his other characters, not just the Jingles. But um, I think unless you know a group of people, unless you're in a clan or a guild or something like that, as a just a wandering around on your own experience so far, it's not been tremendously fun. And that's because a lot of it is just doing the same things over and over again. And you might say, well, okay, that's that's also true of World of Tanks, but there's a, a because World of Tanks is basically all PvP. There's a lot more. Uh, it's hard to say really variety, but there's a lot more variation because. It is PvP, and it's basically, you never know when you hit the battle button what's going to happen. And there's also different game modes as well, and that's a nice neat circle of, you know, dead stuff. Um, but with this, because it is a case where it's the same tasks, like, over and over again, then it can be very repetitive very quickly. And even though you can advance relatively quickly, at least to start with, it's still the case that it can feel very, very repetitive, and that's the big strike against games like this. And it can be... I mean, one of the things that you can... One of the criticisms you can level against World of Tanks is that it's not very clear, or at least people go into it expecting that the high tiers are where the game is at, so to speak. And therefore, you have to go through um, the lower tiers really quickly to get to the high tiers, because that's where everything's happening, right? Except, World of Tanks isn't like that at all. World of Tanks is more along the lines of, well, you're playing because you, you, the battles themselves are the thing that's fun. It, whereas this, World of Warcraft feels much more like the, the grind is the thing, and that's all there is outside of the social element. There's no kind of... Um, you know, there is supposed to be some kind of story going on, but it's... I don't know. I honestly can't figure out what is meant to be happening in, in really um, any part of what I'm doing. You know, why I'm being given these tasks. Um, so, oh, okay, shall we... Uh, I've actually got to kill six of these things. Okay, so let's go and find some of these things to, to shoot. And this is typical of the kind of task, you know. Kill X number of, or collect Y, or go and take this thing over there, and it's just like that over and over again, forever and ever. And then, of course, you've got the PvP element, but I don't know anything about that whatsoever. That probably takes a certain level of skill to be able to get to that stage. Whereas, of course, World of Tanks is just that from day one. I don't know why I'm particularly comparing it to World of Tanks, except World of Tanks is the thing I've got the, ex the experience with in terms of online multiplayer anything. So, yeah, I can see why people enjoy this kind of game, but I'm not necessarily sure it's it's something I'm, you know, unless you want to murder bunny rabbits, because that's the thing you can do. Well, hairs. Oh, oh, this one's a, this one's a... Yeah, there we go. A lot of them around, you know. It, it, it's pest control, it's not cruelty. Snow cub, okay, I'm not that mean. Um, so there's a bunch How of random you? people here, but that's probably connected to something else I have to do. So I, I have a, I've started with a pet, apparently, so he can sort of do some damage and I can just sit here and do ranged damage. And at the low levels, the combat's kind of basic. You don't really have many attacks, or there's not like a huge amount to do. But playing a bit with Raylan and Jingles, I mean, the combat gets it, it, it's button mashing, but knowing which buttons to mash at which time is the critical thing. And you know that takes some experience to to actually uh, to to become au fait with, but. It, it, it's just 
a lot of it feels just very, very repetitive. The task is very, very repetitive. And I, I don't know. I It's been interesting trying this out, and I will certainly... I'll maybe do one or two more videos, and... Well, we'll see. You know, no promises I might do. I might not, but I, I said to myself, I would do at least one video, because... World of Tanks, uh, well, not World of Tanks, World of Warcraft is still by far one of the most popular MMOs around. It's got millions and millions of users worldwide, and it, it's, it's still, it's the big daddy in terms of MMORPGs. It's just, it's the, the yardstick that everything else is compared to, just because it has been so enduring and it has been so popular. So, I was curious to at least try it, but having tried it so far, I'm not tremendously sure I would ever want to stick with it, especially as you have to pay money to stick with it. It's not that it is tremendously expensive, although if you're like Total Biscuit and you play it for seven years at a stretch, you better believe that adds up. But I'm not philosophically opposed to paying money for a, an online game like this, because I've probably spent... Um, oh god, how long have I been playing World of Tanks now? I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but I've probably spent at least £200 on World of Tanks just in the time I've been playing it, which is a year and a half maybe? I I'm not 100% certain about that, that's just a guess. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's just, I don't know why... Unless you, I had a large group of friends that was playing this already, um, but it it just doesn't grab me. It just I don't know what it is. It's not. I mean, I've already said about the graphics. It's not that I don't mind the graphics. Honestly, looking like this, it's kind of, it's not overcomplicated. It's kind of cartoonish. It's not trying to be something more than it is. Because I've noticed that with games that try and overreach themselves, the graphics can look a bit more dated and. Um, I guess that's true with films as well, and the use of CGI, and you get some early examples of CGI that these days just look terrible. But then you look at one of the very earliest, which was Tron, and uh, that really holds up today, because they didn't overreach themselves, and it actually, it's kind of, you know, in its simplicity, it works really well. And I guess that's true for World of Warcraft as well, you know, it's kind of, it's workmanlike, it, it does the job, it's not spectacular, it's not special, but, uh, and there are sure as heck prettier looking um, MMORPGs around, but somehow it's, I, I don't know if it was just lucky in that it was one of the, the earlier ones that got big and it's just managed to retain its its user base fairly well, or, I, I don't know, I don't know. Right, here we go, aid for the wounded, so I've got to basically um, go and See click on, see. I've got to go and click on some guys that are randomly sitting around the battlefield just looking sorry for themselves, and that's my next task. So that's not one over there, that's one over there. And we probably just How are you? right click, or have I actually got an inventory item here? Yes, I do have an inventory item, so I... How are you? I don't even know. I've probably got to put it on the hotbar, actually. So, nine. There we go. And I've fixed that guy, and I've got to take care of four more, so... And I've got to kill four of the troll-looking things as well. The textures are not especially great. I mean, compared to compared to World of Tanks when I first started playing, I know they're very, very different games, but it doesn't look especially good, I have to say. And there are some nice features, and some of it's not unfamiliar. I mean, this is basically Star Wars The Old Republic, and I think pretty much most other MMORPGs use these kind of... Uh, these um, hotbar systems as well. So, it's a, not a totally unfamiliar environment, but it's... How are you? I don't know. I, it feels a bit kind of light content wise even though conversely there's like I don't even know how many gigabytes of data I had to download to get this game I mean it's a big wide game and if you stick at it but the thing is you have to pay money to stick at it and it's not interesting enough for me to actually pay money if Raylin hadn't offered then 
I probably would have never played this. And it's been interesting to take a look at, but that's probably about the most I can say for it. It's any MMORPG would have to be pretty good to steal my affections from from World of Tanks to make me seriously give up um, my online gaming time from that to go to something else. So uh, maybe it's just the style of game. I'm not going to say RPGs generally because I like things like Skyrim and. Uh, you know, things that are maybe a bit more, well, I'm not going to say left field, but more things along the lines of uh, Final Fantasy. And I've played RPGs that, you know, I enjoy that kind of game, but it's just, this is um, very, very different. Because I, I guess the online element is the different thing, because the, suddenly there's that whole grinding part put into it, and it's almost like the grinding is the point of the game. And you could say that about World of Tanks, except I think you'd be wrong. Because PvP is the point of World of Tanks, and the journey is the experience as well. You you go along and you get your tank and you fight, and there you are. I, I, I know what I'm trying to say here, I'm just not saying it terribly coherently. Right, I've got to speak to this guy. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm actually picking up bits of equipment I'm not using here, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Right, any more quests? No? Oh, he's got one more. I'll do one more and then we'll take a quick look at KV4 because I might as well show you KV4. Um, yeah. I, I was a bit disappointed looking at the, the character creation screen, how limited the customization options are. I mean, there's not a great deal of variety you can put into it, really. You can um, change some of the cosmetic features, but when you look at, I mean, the the character uh, character I created for uh, both uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Everwinter Nights and uh, Swotor were both the the options were far more detailed, and compared to something like Skyrim or first things first, we're going to need some beer. Yeah, I might be a dwarf, you know, or what's the other thing I'm thinking of? Um, Mass effects, things like that, and you can actually go into quite a lot of detail, and that's not something that's ever really been updated for this. So, uh, yeah, I did say only one more, but that was, you know, go and speak to this person. It wasn't terribly interesting. Go and find a dwarven artifact. Okay, and we'll follow the arrow and go and do that then. This is the way out, right? Yes. I found the mini map a bit confusing at first because uh, the default minimap is fixed. And why is the arrow pointing in there still? I want to go to the Dwarven Artifacts thing. Or do I go over here? It's a bit hard to tell from the minimap. I think I go into the blue area. Yes. Do I? I think so. I hope so, otherwise I'm just wasting my time. No, the arrow's saying that way. It's not terribly clear sometimes. You also do spend a long time just walking around in this. And I know later on you get things like mounts. In fact, my level 90 character does have a mount, which speeds things up a bit. But one of the one of the smart things about World of Tanks is, I know it's a completely different game. In fact, it's probably closer to a MOBA, uh, but because it is basically a uh, you know, 15 versus 15 arena game, um, is that... You just the, the matchmaking is really quick. You jump into a battle, and, and that's that. There's no there's no downtime. There's no waiting around in between, unless you're wanting to take out a particular tank immediately again afterwards, in which case you're stuck waiting for a battle to end. But that's about the only way in which I can think of that there would be that kind of downtime. Right? I don't know what am I looking for right now. It, it is not clear to me at all. It's just find dwarven artifacts. It was a lot clearer on the minimap when I was. Uh, being a... Uh, yeah, I've got two blue areas here. Okay, I'm actually looking in the right area, I just don't know what I'm looking for. It was fairly obvious when I was the, the Draenei Shaman. Um, like there'd be big, rather obvious looking flower things, or I'd have to go and kill something, or I had to go and drop a thing in a lake, and that was, you know, 
kind of obvious. Whereas in this one, it's not really... That's not a dwarven artifact. That's a wolf. Yeah. Unless you're supposed to kill the wolves and they've got the artifacts? I don't know. Anyway. We're about to find out. No. It has some fur, which I took for reasons passing understanding. A lot of the stuff you can pick up is just, like, junk. You can sell it for a few coppers and that's about it. We'll go and look in the other direction. If I can't find anything, I think we'll just go and uh, look at my KV4 character then. Anyway, World of Warcraft. It sure is big. I mean, you can say that for it. it it's it's a big world. Um, there's, there's a quite a large area to kind of go around and explore and do quests in. And uh, But, oh, is that a little lump of snow? Okay, that's what I'm looking for, apparently. Um... So there's, you know, but there's years worth of content in here. Blizzard have been. When did this game come out? I mean, it's what early two thousands. I mean, this game's got to be getting on for like ten years old now, if not slightly more. Um, and I can see why people play these, like I said, but outside of the social experience, I don't honestly see really what they have to offer. Maybe I just need to wait for them to spawn. Maybe someone else has been collecting them. That can be a thing. I want it something not very obvious, like a tiny lump of snow. Yeah. And i got to say, these dwarves... Because I've, I've actually... I'm, I'm probably back backwards in this regard compared to a lot of people. But because I came to Skyrim, in fact, Oblivion and then Skyrim before I ever came to World of Warcraft, way before, um, I'm kind of like, these elves look so weird, and these dwarves, they don't look, well, they don't look like, like the Dwemer at all, except we don't really know what the Dwemer look like, but I really, really like the Dwemer style of, like, armor and artifacts and uh, all that kind of thing. But everything in World of Warcraft is just really cartoony. <laughs> It's like it makes no bones about it. That there's kind of a, a deliberate star choice, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, look at Team Fortress 2. But um, it doesn't really enhance the actual. If you were someone that was thinking about like seriously serious role playing, you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to be in character, and I'm going to be you know a, 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 a dwarven hunter, or I'm going to be a, a, a whatever. And I'm sure there are servers that are all about that. Um, but it feels like it's kind of this is more fourth wall breaking the, the the entire style of the game and it doesn't actually matter i mean the, all the quest stuff that you get it doesn't actually matter it, it you don't really even need to pay attention to any of the details it's just like oh yeah i have to go over here and collect some stuff or i have to go and and and, and kill some mobs and doesn't really matter why. It's not exactly like it's got an engaging storyline. Story yeah, storyline. I at least... I, I mean, I found that more with Star Wars The Old Republic. It, I, I basically played through that on my own and um, created a, a Republic trooper. I think I also had a... Yeah, I also, I also uh, created a Sith character. In fact, I might even do a video on that at some point because I've got a couple of levels on both those characters. Um... Just the, the the actual maybe I, maybe it's just bias in that it's uh, set in the Star Wars universe, but I found myself paying a lot more attention to what the actual plot was supposed to be because it, there were it was a bit more um, it wasn't just go here and collect those things. It's you, okay, we've got to infiltrate the enemy base and then we've got to um, get to this objective and then get to that objective and and then we've got to kill this uh, boss character and it's a lot more kind of like the levels felt a lot more constructed in that way, a lot less grindy, whereas this is just blatantly so. <laughs> it's like it makes no bones about it. It's just you know, kill this number of things and then kill that number of things and then collect this number of things and then go over here and then do all the same things all over again, only with some very slight variations. Honestly, I don't find that very interesting. I can see. 
why the social element is the the dominant element all that really is just backdrop to the social element and it would have to be really because on its own it doesn't really make for a terribly good game at least that's what i feel uh was it over here am i just getting horribly lost hey look there's a big barrel in the way can i actually run up that no okay i've got to go all the way around so I'm I'm very much aware that this is just because it's not particularly my style of game, but just even objectively, all the kind of stereotypes that I've seen about World of Warcraft and the immense amount of grinding that it takes, so far, you know, all appears to be true. Well, this cub does not want to die. I feel a bit mean, but it wasn't really that intentional clicking on it, but you know. Once I started, I might as well finish. Anyway, anyway, we'll complete this quest, have a quick look at KV4, and I think I got, was it a, a griffin or something like that to fly around in? Although, I, if I'm still on the island with the pandas, if I'm still there, then I, I can't actually fly around, because that's a thing you can't do. So I have to talk to What's-A-Face. By What's-A-Face, I mean What's-His-Face. Yes, I found the random things, and I'll take the thing that I'll probably never use. Right, we'll um, go back to, I think it's logout I click. And then it makes you wait, because reasons. I never did quite figure that out. Probably there's a really simple, obvious reason that I just have not grasped. But, um, yeah. It feels a bit mean making you wait. It's like, you want to wait? Uh, you want to log out? No, you have to wait 20 seconds first because screw you. So there we go. That's HMX. And there's KV4, who was um, basically... <laughs> yeah, it's basically, in World of Tanks terms, I've just bought um, a T-34 and a Lerva mashed together. And voila, this thing. So we'll enter world, and I think I'm still on... Pandaria, is it? I'm guessing so, because that's the name of the expansion thing. Will I ever revisit World of Warcraft? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, it's not like there's a specific thing that, that I can look at and go, oh yeah, no, there's that, there's that one feature of the game I don't like, and or there's that kind of balance issue I don't like, and I'll stop playing until they fix that. Um... It's more just the general style of the game itself. So there we go, there's KV4 in his badass armour. And this is what I mean about all the, the button mashing. It's not only you've got all these things, it's you have to know exactly what each one does and when to use it and what the cooldowns are and what your, you know, class strengths and weakness is. And there's things like, um, where is it? You've got specific bonuses and and class abilities and oh good lord there's just so much to I, I mean obviously this is not exactly a fair view at it because um a, a view of it rather because normally in the course of playing this you would you would grind your way up to this and pick the skills up as you go along but because, like I said, it, it feels like the grinding is the point. There's not really, there's not really storyline. There's not really gameplay as such. It's just the grind and the social experience. Um, it, it's kind of missing the point to jump into a level ninety character if you've never actually played it. But it, it, it's really the case that there's no other way I ever would have seen a level ninety character because I just. I, there's no way I would stick with the game that long to actually um, to get there on my own. I, I would. There's no way I would keep interest in this long enough. Uh, I'd be surprised. You know that you can play it free up to basically level 20 with a, a bunch of other restrictions as well. And um, it's just. Uh, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing, you guys. The most important thing of all. Yep. Um, it. It's just, yeah, so, so although it is the equivalent of jumping to a tier 8 premium in World of Tanks, uh, that, you know, I, I, I suck exactly the same as if I had suck it in that situation. World of Tanks, at least, you, you've got the opportunity to, 
I just think there's more variety, just probably because it is in, entirely PvP, and just um, just generally, the, the, even though it's like the, the, it's completely different games, they're both. I don't know what point I'm trying to make here. Just that I like the the style of World of Tanks, and I dislike the style of this. And it's not like I'm a massive fan of MMORPGs as as a genre, which I've already said. I think, but I still manage to enjoy myself more playing Star Wars: The Old Republic and playing Dungeons and Dragons: Neverwinter Nights, even though again those were mostly played on my own. Although I did start playing Neverwinter Nights. Uh, a, started off with Circle on Versi a little bit and then they moved on to something else um, but uh, yeah outside of the social experience I don't feel like there's a whole lot here and when someone like Turtle Biscuit uh, no I don't want to join your guild thank you, when someone like Turtle Biscuit says oh yeah I spent seven years playing this game I just kind of like totally aghast but maybe one day I'll do a video saying oh yeah I spent Seven years playing World of Tanks, and um, somebody somewhere will have exactly the same reaction. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, this video is. I um, guess I'm going to wrap it up here. It's just been. I, I kind of. I look at World of Warcraft and my opinion of it, and I'm probably not likely to stick with it. In you know, once that once the current. Uh, I think I've got like 20 days left. Once that runs out, I'm pretty unlikely to ever spend money on this game again um, but I will just before I end this I'll say a big thank you for railing to at least giving me the opportunity to play it because it, it's it, it's the iconic one it, it's the you know it's the the, um, the the online multiplayer game that other online multiplayer games wish they were kind of thing and I got to meet Jingles in person so I, I think for the price of admission it was worth that alone I, I, I have I touched Jingles you guys he also flirted with me which was slightly disturbing but um, I, I think he does that with everyone I think I think that wasn't um, that wasn't just me so so cue the fanboy rage um oh i hope not but you know this is the internet you never know if you did enjoy this video you can hit the like button you can leave a, a comment below you can subscribe to my channel and of course as always stay tuned for more